so for the past um I'm not even sure how long I've been working on it because I've been working on other projects but um I've been working on Anansi stories retold um if you know anything about the Anansi stories they've been told they originate from West Africa and they've traveled across um well across the slave communities so across the diaspora um Africa West um obviously from West Africa to the Caribbean Jamaica has always had their own version um and it's always gone to it's all gone to the rest of the Americas sorry I'm still I just woke up not too long ago had a nap and the kids are gone so <laughs> straight back to work but um yeah so the Yanansi stories has dates back to beyond the 1500s and it's always been something that's been like a story or a series of sto stories told by word of mouth that have kept the well they've been used for children and they've used to keep uplift the people and whatnot and um i'd always heard a nancy stories and heard about nancy stories going growing up and um but i'd never read a book like a solid book there are books and people have recreated the work and just rewritten it because it is public domain and that is something as well if you want to get into making your own ebooks a quick way to do that if you're not creative you're not really good at writing yourself you can actually find some work in the public domain and you can then you know rewrite it you can do your own illustrations or get somebody to do illustrations and you can retell it and you know do your own thing with it and that's kind of what I've done with the Anansi stories one because I felt it was an important or it could be a very important piece of literature for black children a lot of my book well all of my books are for black children um whether that's by the bilingual books to help them learn african languages or, although i do do other languages like german spanish french and whatnot but um yeah but i thought like retelling the anansi stories with um, modern images images that they can relate to really fun images is a good way to keep the stories going to keep it in the community and to continue um what it's been doing over the years which is passing on down the generation so this book in particular has taken a bit longer to get together because uh, like I've mentioned before I do everything on my iPad Pro so from illustration I uh procreate the app also lets you add text in so I created my own fonts and I can just add that straight in on Procreate. But the issue is Procreate is a de design software. It's not actually made to format books, although you can, as I have been perfectly formatting all the books I've, I've got on the apps and on the on Amazon, I've been um, doing completely in Procreate up until now. So the reason the Anansi story has taken longer is one, motherhood, but two, because I've been learning a completely different software so I've n I've moved my process over to uh, Affinity Publisher and Affinity Publisher is by name it's made to do this you can do articles newspapers um, pretty much anything that requires a professional touch um, you can do in Affinity Publisher so what I've been doing now is designing I've designed all the illustrations that I'll have in the book in Procreate and I've just put them on my iCloud and dragged them up on my Mac and put them straight into Affinity Publisher and this software if you take the time to learn a new software I've had lots of people message me about formatting books and like what's the best way to do it what's the cheapest way to do it you can use Microsoft Word you can use PowerPoint you can use any software that you can put text on and that allows you to change the size of the document, you can do. However, some documents, some programs allow you to do it better than others. And Affinity Publisher is probably the best thing you can use. Um, I don't know how much it costs. I think it's I think it's about fifty. I think it's about fifty dollars or fifty. I can't remember how much it was, but Affinity Publisher is definitely worth getting if you plan on producing multiple works in the future because you can set master pages you can you know do one text frame and then 
clip just make it continue on you can put your whole book on and then you can add images and wrap the text around it things that you can't do in procreate or other <clears throat> basic softwares and um and then you've got a full product the full you know and you can just export that as it is and and set margins and bleed and all of that stuff to the exact um, specification that amazon or any print requires so you shouldn't have any problems you can see where the text goes right to the end and all of that stuff um, and previously on procreate i was using templates to do that so i knew where the images would go or if i wanted them to bleed off the edge of the screen and stuff like that um but yeah this this video is really just to say if you if you take the time to learn something instead of just saying okay i can't do this or i'm not good at this or you know i'm not a tech person if you just take the time there are tutorials all over the internet to do anything you can imagine everything that you want to do there are tutorials on the internet telling you how exactly to do it there are step-by-step -step guides there are even guides to um the most basic thing you can search how do i add color to blah 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 and there'll be somebody somewhere has already broken that down and done that for you and that is the beauty of the internet if google doesn't know youtube knows and i fully stand by that because everything i've taught myself during this process I've indeed taught myself and that's from YouTube. I've not paid for any courses. I've not I've not paid for anything. <laughs> Pretty much I've just started except for the software that I've paid for. I've just started and I've just learned along the way and that is a skill in itself. You need to learn to adapt and to be able to learn um things on the go and and be what's the word? You can't be static. You can't be um un unteachable or on un you know you if you if you find something valuable then you need to be able to you know to to make the most of that so yeah that's that's all i really wanted to say i'm sure that there was something else i wanted to say but i don't really want this video to drag on for no reason um if you are looking at a way to put your book together i do suggest try it to see if there's a trial before you purchase Infin affinity publisher if you're just starting out in this, you don't know if you're going to make any money from it. So I wouldn't recommend you going out and just spending all your money on all the top software. If you've already purchased something like Procreate, which is about £20, um, and you want to keep your cross low. For me, I bought an iPad specifically for these things, but I knew I'd find other ways to do it. So I wasn't initially thinking, keep my cross low. I was thinking, I'm going to make this pay off in the end. But um, but yeah, if you if you're trying to keep your cost low, then I, again, you can find ways to format your book on on any of those softwares on Microsoft Word if you have to. But if you want to start like really making some professional looking books, then I would definitely recommend um, something like a Finney Publisher. So I'm going to show you my Anansi book so far, um, kind of how I've laid it out and what I've been able to do in Infinity Publisher and um, yeah and then this the next step for me and um, and then yeah and then it will be submitted on the store and the link will be below in the description if you want to check this book out. So this is Affinity Publisher and this is just my setup um, so like I said here you've got master pages and you can put whatever you you can put as many master pages as you need and in my master pages I've put the page number and the text frame so when I add new pages they'll automatically have this text frame that's linked to this one so whatever I type in here if it if I type enough and it flows over it will go straight over to that page again something that you can't do in Procreate so that's my master page um, and then something i've designed in procreate which is the inside page i don't know the proper name for it but it's got you got the front cover then you either got the um legal page or you've got that page which is that like a copy of the front page and then legal page contents again you can just literally put your space it out put your the list of um stories this book actually has seven stories in it so i'm missing one i've got to add another one here and then i've put the page numbers along the side and then i can't see this one i'm doing it 
and then yeah and you can see everything you can see everything as it would be on two pages so left side right side and like I said everything is in, in all these images I've designed in Procreate and I've just inserted the image and wrapped the text around it exactly how I want it to appear so I've been able to yeah it's just been so easy and you can do it you can do it exactly however you want to do it you can do it you don't have to follow any conventional way if you like the way it looks in your head then just do it like that I've made the um the conversation um the quotes the quotations read throughout the book um just because when we when I read to my children they love when I put on the voices and I just love it to be a thing that you know that's easy to decipher and and um yeah <laughs> so yeah so yeah this is this is all I've done design it and procreate and I've just put all the separate stories with I've, got, I've also designed this text it's called the Africa text if you go if you look closer you can see it's got these nice patterns in some of the letters um yeah so you put the title text in and and then yeah and the next story starts and like I said you've got your page number it does all of this automatically so in procreate before I've had to I didn't know that this was the long way of doing it but I literally put the page number on every individual um, image and then exported that all as a pdf which was just long just unnecessary um and this way you also retain the quality because um the images I've exported them as png and um you can retain the quali quality of it really well uh yeah so this is the Anansi the tales what's it called Anansi stories retold or Anansi tales retold by Ariel Phoenix if you want to go and check this out and my other books the link is in the description um always grateful for the support and um yeah oh what I was going to say was yeah so at the end of this book the one well, what I'm missing now what's to be done now is I typically put an author page so I put my picture here and I you know there's a little author biography and just other my and then my other books and that's a really good opportunity to advertise your other books so people know you know if they, if they like your stuff if they like one thing then it's possible that they'll like your other stuff or they'll just want to check it out um so it's always good to to use that opportunity to upsell um so that's what I'm going to be doing now so I'm going to put my author page here um the books cyber phoenix books.cyberphoenix.com I think it is the website um and um and then yeah so then I'd submit this to Amazon and I'd submit the front cover separately and that's it but yeah this this software it can look at I, I know if you if you just opened a new software and you see all of this stuff around the edges and you see just so many different tabs it can be very scary and that's why I suggest just looking at tutorials online just looking at YouTube videos, start with, um, you know, there's there's a basic one that's actually made by Affinity uh, with a woman walking you through it and you can slow it down and just follow, just open the app and follow along um, and watch it as many times as you need to really. But um, that's it guys. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope this video was helpful to anybody in any way and um, take care.